find the moment O due to the 200 newton load at acting at the end of the light pole. We're going to do it using the vector method here. R is the vector from the point of interest to the point of application of the force. So to get from O to A, we're going to go up 5, 5J, and over 6, plus 6I. That's our R vector. To find F, we need to have that force in Cartesian form. So the 200 newtons goes on your 50 degree angle. Then the J component will be 200 cosine 50, and the I component will be 200 sine 50, which gives you an F vector of minus 128.56J plus 153.21I. The moment is R cross F. Take the cross product. The R component goes on top. So you have 5J and 6I. You don't have any K. The F component goes on the bottom, minus 128.56J plus 153.21I, and there are no Ks, and we can take the cross product, which gives you 1,537.39 Newton meters. Running this into three significant digits, you have 1540 kilonewton or newton meters, or 1.54 kilonewton meters. This is in the negative k direction. Remember, if you're going to give me a force, you've got to give me a, ve a direction as well. So, in each of these cases, you have m in the negative k direction. You can also say 1.54 kilonewton meters with a clockwise arrow, or you can put in clockwise.